My name's Pat McHale. Um, I'm the creator of... Well, okay, so it doesn't have an official name yet. So we're not calling it Tome of the Unknown. Right. Sorry, I realized I, took, I kept Tome in that one and so it's good. Wait, now I forgot what it's called again. Over the... Over the garden. Over the garden <laughs> wall. We've, uh, we've developed ten shorts um, that make up a miniseries that has a beginning and an end, and uh, each episode has its own little world that the, the main characters kind of enter. This, this show has been in, through so many different incarnations, so like, there's a lot of different places where it comes from. I don't know if we're really being successful with it, but we're trying to look at the inspiration for the show mostly from like, like illustration and, and fine art or something, as opposed to just looking at animation history. Nick Cross is the art director. He's amazing. There's a lot of like old cartoon influence. There's a lot of modern cartoon influence too. I think it, it feels like. And so the world itself is kind of this sort of old fashioned -y kind of thing. And then the characters that are entering into it have a more um, contemporary conversational feel. Young man, I will not stand for such nonsense in my classroom. I got enough nonsense from that no good, two timey, low down, handsome man of mine. Ooh, that lady's got some baggage. The characters are very well crafted and well defined, and there are real relationships. You know, there's a real relationship between Greg and Wirt. I play Gregory, and he is the funny part of the show. Hey, Wirt. What? So what's the plan? Because you're not saying any details, so it's hard for Greg, me to- Greg, I do have a plan. And if you don't trust me, then you don't have to follow me, okay? You can do anything you want. Anything? That's a lot of power. And then the relationship between Beatrice and Ward, I think, is the most fascinating. The funny thing with Beatrice is the more sort of grumpy and at the end of my rope I am, the funnier and kind of sweeter she is. Greg, don't you want to be more like your brother? Just always doing what you're told? Huh? Just a pathetic pushover who relies on others to make all his decisions? Hey, and that's been the most fun for me to play. Because it evolves, there's a real arc to that. It's so funny to be mad about being a blue bird because it seems like it would be a pretty wonderful thing. Okay, Wirt, I'll admit it. You seem like a pushover, but you're not. Oh? Deep down in your heart, you're a stubborn jerk. When are you gonna give this up? Maybe never. Maybe I'll never give this up. Essentially, these sort of, these kind of fairy tales that we're telling there are genuine, interesting dynamics and relationships at play, and it's fun for us as actors to, to play them. I was always told, hold something back so that there's a surprise for the audience, you know? Because if you give it to them all on the first page, then where do you, what, you don't have anywhere to go, do you see? Right. Let's do one more pass on it, and then pull it back from 609. I want a child servant. My horrible sister has one, and I want one too. I want a child servant. Servant? I thought you just wanted some yard work done. Our arrangement was for you to bring me a child servant and then I give you the scissors. There's something very charming about the world that they're that they're in. Oh, hide me and kind of scary. There are there's episodes that are sort of really dark. Hmm. Has anyone come here today? Nay, Auntie, not a soul. And no one shall be devoured alive tonight. The scenarios that these characters find themselves in are extraordinary. I just don't see a lot of kids wandering around the dark forest in the dead of night, you know? But like, this is a weird project to do, 10 episodes of a, of a miniseries about kids being lost and, and, and like this old time music. And it's like, a, it's a super weird thing. If this show were a, a record, it would be played on a phonograph. It's, it sort of came from a place of things that have been lost. Um, so um, old stories that never actually existed, but we're kind of pretending that once existed or something and, and kind of bringing them back. Let's just go. F See what happens. Yeah, it might be a mess. It might be amazing. Right, here we go. 
Oh, we're, we're going, going to the pasture to meet Adelaide and ask her if she has a way to send us back where we came from. I don't know who she is or how she is or when, what, why she is, but far as where she is, she is where we will go to Adelaide, Adelaide. Come on and join the Adelaide parade. Adelaide to Adelaide, we're going to Adelaide's house today. <laughs> overall feeling of it sort of feels like just something that time forgot I guess you know the, the songs that we're writing for the series are sort of like reminiscent of old songs but they're not actual old songs right. often Pat will turn us on to an idea or to a song or to a musician that we may or may not know of, and then we'll be like, oh, this is great, and then kind of go down that rabbit hole a little bit. Uh, right, but there's a, yeah. There's a little bit of a, and it's like, oh, it starts new, but it's the same word almost. Right, okay. It's like sort of a special thing. In, in the first episode, if we end there, lyrically, and then go to whistling over top of their narration, oh, no, that wouldn't work, because it's supposed to be the frog that's whistling. How the gentle wind beckons through the leaves as autumn colors fall. Dancing in a swirl of golden memories, the loveliest lies. Closer. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I, I don't know. I feel like there's something that like is is waiting behind the behind the fog of my brain that's like, oh, I should say this, but and, and that'll that'll explain everything. It's as if you take all these elements from the attic, like old ghost stories and pre 20th century music, um, superstitions, and if you threw all those things together into this world of the unknown, that's sort of what the, these stories are like. I told you to leave these woods! So all the outlines are done. Most of the boards are done. There's, there's three left to do. We plan on airing it um, two every night for the week and then uh, as a special event, and then maybe like all of them together on Saturday. Let's just have you stare out the window a little bit. Yeah, there's, there's a whole bunch of crows out there swarming around. Yeah.